Okay, so we are about an hour away from our final destination. Um, I'm quite excited. We had a few nervous wheeze before we left. Moscow yep. is driving. Um, so, yes, I'm very, very excited. How, how are, as excited, how are you feeling? I'm a little nervous. This is not something I've experienced before, but either way, you know, I'm going to do the best I can and see how it goes. Sounds very serious. I think I think when you see what's happening, his nerves will go away. Hopefully. Anyway, so we've got about 54 minutes to go of just mainly motorway. This is the quieter section. It's been quite busy up until this point. Yep, it's but, like nothing's changed. Yeah, no, no lockdown on the motorways. We have sorted out the house because where we're going, we're going to pick something up that'll come back to the house. So I'll insert the footage here, well Moscow will, here. So the house is all nice and tidy. Probably won't take any footage when we get there because we'll be busy talking about stuff. And then the next footage you'll get, hopefully will give you a clue as to why we've traveled so far. This is the first we've traveled in the entirety of lockdown, isn't it? I think this is the longest journey we've done since our mini moon. Yeah, so so yeah, so we've not really travelled very far at all. We're coping okay. You haven't forgotten how to drive, so that's good. No, I still remember. Yeah, so that's good. And in in England the lockdown's kind of lifting by Monday, so well, there are still things in place but things are much more um, relaxed. Surprise will probably follow in the next section. It's a new forest pony. So we've switched positions. And it's about an hour since we arrived. And look at who's joined us. Oh, it's gonna be all blurry, it might just. This is little Arthur. And this is quite a long car journey. So I'll give you some little updates. But she is joining our family. And she is a bearded collie puppy. Ooh, it's wobbly. And she's eight weeks and two days old. And today's quite a big day. Quite scary, isn't it? Oh. So we'll update you as it goes. She's doing really well so far. It's all very new. We're just about to leave the motorway. Moscow's driving in the rain. There's been lots of rain. But she's doing really well. She slept in lots of different positions, but the new favourite is up against the crate on that side, snuggled amongst the toys that Masco picked. So, can't wait to get her home and release her, can we? No, oh, and I'm looking forward to getting a coffee. <laughs> yes. So this is Uffa, and her current dilemma is how to get to the food without going on the slippery kitchen floor. So, and this is some bedding that we got from the breeder. So she's, she likes that. <laughs> she's going to try and eat her food out of the bowl while in bed. Which I'm not very sh good, sh is sh I'm sure isn't very good for your digestion. But it is a current workaround. doesn't like tiled floors so this is <laughs> it's gonna be hard work isn't it can we come out come on she's considering going outside good girl very brave it's a bit of a step hello Good girl. First time in the garden. Good girl. Very serious. It's a bit rainy for the first time. Good girl. It's a bit of a drop. Take it easy. Good 
girl. Good girl. Good girl. Ooh. Bit of a drop. Good girl. Go on. Go on. Here we go. Come on. Oh, good job. Well done. That's excellent. She was so good. There was no stick. There was no peas or poos in the car. What a good wee! Good With, girl! Within 30 good seconds! Girl. How clever! Good girl! So our only dilemma is she's really hungry, but she can see her reflection in the bowl. <laughs> and we had our first woof. Ooh. But now she's found her tail. So we're gonna switch out bowls because we do have a silicon bowl. What's wrong with this bowl? Other. 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 Oh. I think it's the reflection. Yeah. She can see, she can Ooh. see another dog. Okay, we'll try a different bowl. Take two. So we've changed it over to the silicon and it is a hit. Much better. Much better. So we'll see how we do with the stainless steel as the week goes on. But otherwise, we might have to get you a silicon or plastic bowl if you're really scared of your own reflection, Arthur. So this is Arthur's first time in the living room and she's been really good. She's just kind of sniffed around here and then lay down, which is lovely. Smokey's come in from his area, he can't, um, he can get in there, she can't. Um, he is obviously a bit standoffish, but she's done exactly what we wanted. She's just mm. laying Hi. down, on and she's foot. not on your foot. Um, no. And she's not that bothered about him. So that's absolutely perfect. I mean, we'll keep an eye on it. If she gets over interested, we've got ways of keeping her away from him, but we want him to be able to do what he needs to. So we have one tuckered out pup in the middle of the living room floor and then Smokey is just lying over there, which is, I think, a good sign. He's not feeling the need to come in and assert his authority, but he's... Yeah, at first he was like, first time I saw him, he had like a bushy tail and hackle hackles, but he's calmed down now. So honestly, could have gone worse. Yeah. So I think what we're going to do is, at the moment the house is quite quiet, so probably put some TV on. Yeah. Just so that she gets used to a bit of noise mm. and can sleep through it. And we'll just reassure Smokey if he comes in that everything's fine. Yeah. But so far she's been a delight. She's done a poo in the garden as well. She actually cried at the door to make sure yeah. she could go to, to do that. So she's doing really well. She's been just so well prepared for the transition and it's amazing. It'll just make her happier and, and just less stressed. Yeah, she's taking it all in her stride. So long as her routine is pretty much as similar as possible, it should be good. Yeah. But she is rather mucky, so we have to apologise to Madeline <laughs> because she's had a bath and a blow dry today. Yeah. And she's already mucky. She discovered further she discovered your uh she discovered your plants. Yes. And wedged herself in between. Yes. And tried to lick the pavement for water instead of the paving slabs instead of use the bowl. But she has discovered the bowl now. So apologies to Madeline because I know she'll watch this. She was beautifully groomed before we got her. So we have progress. She's coming out of her shell and enjoying her little bed there. She's and having a snack in here. <laughs> yeah. She's been quite good. She's been sleeping lots. 
and smoky he's still very worried obviously because it is something new but he's actually come in and he's come up on the ottoman and we've got a rule here in this household that the dog won't ever be allowed on the furniture so that means that he's kind of she wouldn't be allowed on to here or and she wouldn't be allowed up on here so we're, we're quite happy with him being here we're just gonna comfort him and he seems to be doing all right. He's he's less nervous than he was, and he's been sitting, watching her quite a lot. She hasn't shown any interest in him whatsoever, so that's good. That's the way we'd like it. Um, so it's all kind of on his terms. Hey, Smokes. So we've been really worried about how he was going to take it, but he's been quite good. And she's slowly coming out of her shell. She's been very quiet now. She's kind of starting be a little bit more bold. Mm. We've discovered our bark. So after all that excitement, she's tuckered herself out. So we're obviously so very excited to have her join our family and I hope you enjoy watching her grow with us and seeing what adventures she gets up to. Welcome to the family, gorgeous Uffa. Thank you for watching. Bye.